there's um, this sighting out at the Yu Yangs, just over near Lara. Yep, yep, yeah, that's right, the same place. Gary? Yeah, it's me. Well, I'm in the projected UFO landing zone now. There's no sign of anything here. Nothing. Broken vegetation, burned tracks. No, I don't know. Yep. Yes, all right. Okay, good. All right. I'll do another sweep of the area. See what I can see. I'll let you know if I get attacked by an alien. Bye. Gary? Gary, they're here. They're really here. No, 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 no. Not the not the ones we've been fighting. Other ones. Other aliens. 
good aliens, friendly, friendly aliens. Don't you understand? They come in peace and they, they want me to go with them. They want me to work for them. They're taking me now, Gary. They're taking me away. <laughs> They're here. They're ready for me. I may never see you again, Gary, but I want you to know I appreciate the fact that you, you alone, always believed in me. Please, get me. They're coming now. Goodbye, Gary. Goodbye. Good morning. The day's over. Good night? You mean good afternoon. Sorry for dropping in unannounced like this. Excuse me? Who the bloody hell are you? Allow me to introduce myself, sir. My name is Kronos. My card. Mr. Kronos? Transdimensional control. God of time? Oh, well... I'm not really a god, but I do like it. It has a nice ring to it. <laughs> You're insane. Well, don't you like it? How the hell did you get in here? Why, through a wormhole. Oh, so you're a worm, are you? No, a wormhole is a passage through the fabric of time and space. The only way to travel. Well, one of us is insane. I feel like I've been slipped some LSD. This is not a dream, Mr Sutton. A nightmare. No, it's quite real. I represent the agency that employs your friend, Mr. Dark. Damon Dark? Damon Dark was a former agent of yours, wasn't he? Damon disappeared about ten years ago. We thought he'd been abducted by a UFO or something. Far from it. Damon Dark was recruited by Transdimensional Control, the greatest force for order in the entire cosmos. Damon Dark works for you now? Yes, he's been assisting us. There was a cosmic war. Really? A thousand races fighting together against an evil force known as the Collective. What is the Collective? The Collective are the souls of Cygnus 12. Their bodies were destroyed by the radiation of a black star. But their minds survived. Pure thought. Earth? <sighs> what on earth am I doing on Earth? Creatures of pure thought. With no bodies. Exactly. What do they want? Bodies. Gary? Hello, Mr. Dunn. Yesterday's New York Times, then today's date must be September 11, 2001. It's after eight. We've got less than half an hour before the first plane hits. This is a trap, Gary. 
We've been diverted here deliberately by our enemies to die. Let's go. But we have to do something. 3,000 people are about to die. What? No. We have to save them. How? If I phone in a bomb threat, they'd have to evacuate the towers. And then what? We all live happily ever after. I can do it. I can save them. Yeah, you might also prevent the war on terror, the overthrow of Saddam Hussein, the invasion of Iraq, the invasion of Afghanistan. And? So you start to choose who lives and who dies. Well, what's the point of time travel if you can't change things? Be my guest, Gary. Play God. I can do it, Damon. And where do you stop? What's next, Gary? Go back to the Titanic and warn all the passengers? Go back and find Hitler's father and kill him to prevent the Holocaust? What's next? It's tempting. Time travel is the ultimate temptation, but don't do it. When I was in the Navy, there was a fire on my ship and the captain gave the order to seal off six men. Years. Mm -hmm. But looking back on it, did he make the right decision? Yes. It's right on 845. There's time manipulators still charging up. I think I hear a plane. I... No, you don't. It's too soon. I hear a plane. You do not hear a plane. I hear a plane. Gary. I hear a plane. Come on! What 